What's going on guys, it's Danny here and this is going to be a pre and raid best in slot gear video for priest in classic for phase 1 with dire mall being in the game. Since the release of classic I have and currently am pvping as discipline and as shadow and I'm pveing as a healer. So we'll be talking about those things. I haven't pve'd yet as shadow, hopefully at some point, but I'll be not talking about that in this video since I don't have experience. You can do this same thing by the way with the gear if you want to see how your stats are going to be with different gear than your currently equipped one. You have to go to classic.wowhead.com and then up here tools, classic gear planner, select your class and select your race. If you are playing priest in classic and you want to pvp and you are not farming a lot of scholomans for the gear. Better start looking for a group for Scholomans right now because you will need to farm that dungeon a lot. So let's go into PvP first, starting with Discipline. Discipline Priest shines in group PvP where you will be doing the support role of most importantly dispelling, mana burning and healing. Sometimes you can deal damage as well. So based on what we're going to be doing, this is the most important stats we want from our gear. 3-4% spell hit chance, so we don't get our mana burns, dispels, fears resisted. We want as much intellect as possible, so that we have a big mana pool. We will be getting mana burned as well by other priests and hunters, so the more mana we have, the slower we run out of mana. And also, the bigger the mana pool, the more you can dispel and mana burn others before you run out of mana. Uh, we want a lot of stamina, third stat so that we don't get bursted and killed really quickly like getting jumped by rogues and warriors and we want some spirit so we can have some mana region spirit or mana per five seconds and apart from that you get whatever amount of bonus healing or bonus spell damage and healing you can get on the gear so the pre-raid gear for discipline priest stuff that you can get from dungeons quests or crafted so for the head slot, I'm using the Dread Mist Mask, which is an intellect heavy item that also gives a decent amount of stamina and spirit. It drops from Scholomans. I'm using it in a combination with another Dread Mist piece, which is the gloves, and they also give decent amount of stamina, intellect, spirit. They drop from Scholomans as well, but they are BOE and you can find them in the auction house. And for having these two pieces of this set, you get a little 200 armor bonus, which comes in really nicely against physical damage dealers. The neck is Star of Mysteria, which drops from the last boss in Stratholm living part. It gives intellect, stamina, spirit, and we also get 1% spell hit chance from here. For the shoulders, I'm using the Necropile shoulders, and I will be using the whole Necropile set for PvPing as both Discipline and Shadow. This whole set drops from Scholomans, and generally it is a stamina heavy set that also gives a good amount of intellect, spirit, and it has amazing PvP bonuses, such as plus 5 intellect for 3 pieces, 15 of all resistances for 4 pieces, and when you have the full 5 set pieces, you have a little bit of uh, increased spell damage and healing. Sprite Caster Cape is not a bad cloak. It gives stamina, intellect, spirit, and a little bit of spell damage and healing. Here you have a different really good option, which is called Hide of the Wild. It's crafted by leather workers. The materials might cost a little bit too much in the beginning of Classic, but you can also farm it. You, it gives 10 intellect, 8 stamina, and a lot of healing. 42 bonus healing. Necropile Robe, a lot of stamina with intellect and spirit as well and it gives some spell damage and healing too necropile bracers the belt we have is bantok sash which drops from brd arena from the ogre boss from here we get another spell hit chance and we get bonus damage and healing intellect and stamina very good belt overall I necropile pants and necropile boots to finish the whole necro set here the boots also give 11 spell damage and healing which is really nice and overall the set like i said heavy on stamina that gives a good amount of intellect and some spirit too one of the rings we have is emerald flame ring which drops 
from the last boss in Dire Mall West. And it gives a lot of intellect, stamina, spirit, and 15 bonus healing. The other ring is Blood of the Martyr, which is from a quest from Stratholme. That gives a lot of stamina and intellect. For trinkets, one pretty nice option is Royal Seal that gives healing and a bit of mana per 5 seconds as well as some fire resistance. This is from a book that drops in Dire Mall. One of those books that starts a quest, you turn it in and you get the trinket. If you don't want all that healing, you have another option that's more mana region. It's called the Mind Trap Talisman and it drops from Dire Mall West. It gives 11 mana per 5 seconds. The second trinket is many different options. The second trinket will be constantly swapped and Briarwood Reed is just one of the many options. There are many much better trinkets. You will have engineering for PvP and you get all the trinkets from there. The reflectors and all that stuff. You have carrot on a stick when you're mounted and running away or chasing someone. It's a very nice and cool thing in Classic to be able to swap trinkets all the time and play around, you know, equipping the right trinket for the right situation. If you don't have any add-on that can swap trinkets quickly, um, I use trinket menu and it's just a really nice thing to learn and get used to. And now we have the weapons. The best in slot 1 right now you can get is Storm Rager. It is from a pretty long quest chain in the Eastern Plaguelands. It gives intellect and stamina and it's a really fast 1.3 speed wand. For the offhand, this is a drop from Scholomans. It gives a lot of intellect, 17 intellect and a bit of stamina and spirit too. And here for the weapon we have this dagger called Witchblade, 8 intellect and 14 spell damage and healing. You also have this mace, that's another option from Dire Maul. East from the last boss, it's called Energetic Rod and you will have less competition for this so it will be easier to get since it's a mace. It gives a little bit less intellect but the same amount of damage and healing but you are already farming a lot of Scholomans anyway so you might be able to pick up the Witchblade and if not you can go for this mace. As for enchants, I would like to think about enchants as a compensation of what I'm lacking right now without any enchants with this current gear we have 3507 hp unbuffed and 5581 mana so generally since i'm going to be using the necropile set for both shadow and discipline pvp i want to do a little bit of both mana and stamina enchants so for example i will put enchant of uh, 150 mana on the pants on the robe i will put 100 health on the bracer i will put nine stamina shoulder enchant is five of all resistances it takes a while to get this one but it is a great enchant because it adds up more resistances so together with the shoulder resistance five of all and the the cloak resistances which also gives five of all resistances you go up to at least 25 of each resistance and that is great against spellcasters in pvp because that can help you um, reduce the damage or completely resist some of their spells for the boots the necropile boots it's um, extremely important to have minor speed increase on the head this is my discipline only helm so my stats are looking like this i consider this a good amount of hp without any any buffs at all 3700 seems amazing i'm going to put more mana here because my hp is already great on the helm uh, mana anything else that's not enchanted the gloves we have uh, mount speed later on in later phases of classic we have uh, other great enchants such as healing plus five but uh maybe minor speed will still be good but right now the best one minor speed uh, increase mount uh, sorry i didn't mention it's a mount speed increase not running like the minor speed on boots and on the witch blade on the weapon in general we can put 55 healing right now great enchant for phase one intellect enchants are very very good for uh disciplined pvp 
but right now there is no good one. I think it's later on in phase. Intellect plus 22 is a great enchant since we want as much mana as possible, but that's in phase 3. Now we can put plus 55 healing and that's it with the enchant pretty much. So let's take a look at what we can pick up from raiding for discipline PvP. Um, the neck and the belt will stay the same because this is where we get hit chance from for now we're gonna have to deal with two percent spell hit the trinkets are the same way up to you to equip the the right ones for the current situation and the amazing storm rager wand also stays the same so generally it's going to be pretty hard to get all the epic items from raid for pvp because there is going to be a lot of competition since they are great for healing in pve as well but there are three items from here that i consider not very hard to get and that are very nice and perfectly fine if i get just those three and not the rest one of them is benediction it gives a lot of intellect stamina shadow resistance um, a ton of healing and a little bit of a crit chance for holy spells the Sapphire on Drape, which is from Onyxia, heavy on intellect and stamina, also gives great amount of resistances and uh, spell damage and healing. And the CO of the Arc Magus, which is a ring from Baron Geddon in Molten Core. It gives a lot of intellect, stamina, spirit, and six of each resistance. My gear for Discipline PvP right now looks like this. I have exactly these items. I have Benediction, managed to get one. I have Hide of the Wild here, I can replace it with the Onyxia Cloak, but Hide of the Wild does pretty well too. And I have the Seal of the Arc Magus from raiding these three items. Other than that, I'm keeping my Necropile and the two pieces of Dread Mist. And overall, with these items right now, I am super fine, I'm happy, and I'm very ready for Phase 2 to start PvPing, farm honor, and rank up like crazy. But if you do happen to get a lot of gear from raiding, then you can see here the differences with the pre-raid compared to the gear from raid. It's about 1000 mana more from the gear from raid. We also have a lot more bonus healing, 480 over here compared to the 214. It's about the same amount of health, which could be a little bit worrying. Uh, some small adjustments can be made to get a little bit more health like enchants and stuff like that but um, overall we also have more resistances as you can see from the raiding gear especially more of fire and shadow resistances which are nice to have in pvp so the two pieces of tier 2 set that are available in the game right now the helm from onyxia and the pants from ragnaros in molten core they are great because of overall how much stats they give a lot of um, intellect stamina spirit and um, a lot of healing from them as well with a little bit of mana per five seconds tier one set um you could go for either four or five pieces i really like the three pieces bonus for tier one which is 0.1 second reduction of cast time of flash heal flash heal is great and often used in pvp with for priests so the three bonus is nice but here if you value that five set bonus as well uh, which is two percent crit chance for holy spells you know when you heal it can crit and that ends up healing more obviously if you throw a smite sometime it might have a bit higher chance to crit um, so you could go for the five pieces if you want with the bracer this is the fifth piece of tier one but i like the necropile bracer a little bit more because it gives more stamina and with this gear i might be lacking a little bit of uh, health anyway and also the five pieces of tier one is not that big of a deal in my opinion if you want you can get shoulder robe gloves bracer tier one and boots and get five or you can keep the necropile like i did you can also pick up from raid cauterizing band it's a really nice healing ring 12 intellect nine stamina and a ton of healing it gives 46 healing 